Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, do you remember this uh, canvas that I got with my first, no, my second, sorry, Timu order? Uh, yeah, it had an extra visitor with it. It's quite funny that it's a butterfly, a bug, because uh, yeah, it uh, came with its own extra bug. <laughs> in with the drills and yeah i did get a full refund on it and they said keep the painting as well but i've just ooh, definitely i'm not going to open that packet um yeah that just is so gross having that little extra creature in it and um, it has got wings in there as well oh so it's probably been a moth or something and these drills let me look at those crystals you know when i say i love crystals that are really really sparkly and clean well, they're just not, they are absolutely covered in dust. Um, I think there's probably some sort of dust when the drills are being made, possibly. Uh, usually you get them in lovely packets and they're real clear and clean and they're just not. So I'm not opening those and they don't look very clear and clean either. In fact, the whole thing, I'm hoping that in my spares, I've got enough to be able to do this picture. Uh, without having to use these drills. The only one I'm slightly concerned about is possibly that one because I don't think I've got that many, in which case I will have to clean them, uh, which you can do, just put them uh, in a little strainer or something uh, and just give them a rinse round in warm soapy water uh, and then just leave them on, say, a kitchen towel or something to dry. Uh, but yeah, I really don't want to have to use any of these so I can just throw them away and I know the craft room thinks, oh no, don't throw anything away but I just can't bring myself after seeing um, an extra friend in there to uh, use any of these. <laughs> so I'll see what I can do. If I've not got enough of those, I might have to see if I've got a slightly different colour uh, and see what we can do. I did actually start um, doing this and then I thought I'll film it um, and you can uh, just see the little process that I'm going through. Uh, it's something I've never done before. I have swapped out drills on canvases uh, and put others in, but I've never had to completely redo a canvas. I suppose I could completely redo it in other colours, but uh, I just thought, well, I'll see what I've got anyway and see where we end up. But I mean, I've definitely got plenty of uh, my spare crystals, my plain crystals. Uh, if you've been with me a while, you will know that I have a huge jar full of sparkly crystals and look how much they sparkle. They're not, yeah, you can see the difference, look. I mean, they're in a glass jar and they're just in a packet and uh, yeah, I just don't want to use those two. So I've got some little numbered packets already. Um, I think there's eight colours. So I've got, uh, why I've got nine bags, I don't know, but I've got eight colours. So let's have a look and we'll try and sort these out and then I can put them into number order. Is that number one? Yeah, that's number one. Um, I may need more than one bag of number one. But uh, we'll see how we go. And to be honest, as I say, I've always got plenty of spare crystals. Oh, it's just uh, started absolutely chucking it down, as we say in the in Yorkshire. <laughs> Siling it down, basically raining like crazy. Really big, heavy raindrops. And it's like stair rods coming straight down. Albeit it's really, really windy. So that's peculiar as well. But who knows what the weather does these days. Oh, it's thundering. Okay. Oh, that's why Millie Moo's been real clingy today. She can hear the thunder. She can hear it before we do. So she's downstairs on Daddy's knee at the moment. Uh, she was too hot here in the craft room. So I kept um, going downstairs and sort of encouraging her to go on Daddy's knee rather than coming and sitting on my feet in, uh, in here and they're getting too warm. So they did say we'd get some severe weather. I have to admit, I am that person that loves thunder, uh, loves, well, not particularly, I don't love lightning, but I love seeing it from a distance. I know it can be very dangerous and I know some people are absolutely terrified. So uh, apologies if you heard that and you don't like thunder. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's probably about the same amount of those. So just squish that down a little bit and now I'm going to cut those two off. And yeah, I'm sorry, they are going in the bin. Right, now I was having a look through for number two. Where's number three gone? And number three, which 
are this pink and this blue. Um, now, I think that's the nearest blue that I've got in my box. And that's the nearest pink that I've got in these. But then if you saw the Kitting Down video where I uh, showed you all my drills, you'll know that I've got bags with the colours in as well. So I thought I might just quickly go through these and see if I've got any that are a nearer colour. It's not a brilliant... <clears throat> It's not a brilliant day to be doing this, I have to say, because, uh, yeah, it's quite dull and it is raining, so colour matching isn't the best thing to do. But I do want to get this done because I don't want to have these drills in the house any longer than I have to. Sorry about the shadows. It is exceptionally yucky weather. What can I say? Oh, dear. Yeah, there's two pigeons on the roof uh, opposite and they're just looking really, really sorry for themselves. I mean, there's plenty of trees about that they can go and sit in, but they've decided to sit on a rooftop and get absolutely soaked. Maybe it's shower day and they just sat there. <laughs> so it's definitely not sort of these type pinks. We'll just quickly go through and see what we've got. That looks a similar colour to that. No, it's not really. No, these are all like the purpley pinks. That's too pale. It's funny how you get all these colours and you think, oh, I'll definitely have that one. And then when you start looking through them and the different shades, they're completely different shades. Okay. Oh, that one's a sort of similar one, so we'll keep that one out. Definitely not those. Gosh, can you hear the rain coming down now? I've got some washing uh, in the washing machine. Um, and our washing machine's in the garage. You have to go outside to get it so it can stay in there for now. I am not going outside in this to go and empty the washing machine. So, no. Definitely not those. So it's funny how you get these colours. And you're just thinking, yeah, oh yeah, I'll definitely have that colour. And then you don't. But I suppose it's like anything else. The shades within shades, um, if you don't get the same dye lot as with your like, acrylic and resin gems, uh, then the gems aren't the same colour. So you can end up with lots of different uh, variations on them. So, no, no, no. No, too bright. Oh, hot pinks. What can I say? No, to be honest, I think because I've got so many of them, I'm going to stick with that colour. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick with that colour. So I'll put these back in the bag. It's just to see whether I've got any better colour match, really, as I'm doing these. So, yeah, these are my spare crystals. Um, I have got a box where I have sort of colour matched them and put them into colours. Um, but I really don't think I've got the time um, or the energy at the moment to sit and go through every single packet of these and colour match them again. So at the moment they're just in packs of like pink, red, blue, green and whatever. So let's have a look at the blue pack. Um, so that will be number two. So let me just tip these out. And I, I've got a very, very complicated system and it probably is a lot more complicated than it needs to be. But uh, yeah, at the moment, this is the way I do it. So that is number two. I think they're as close as I'm going to get those. And I think there's more than enough there. So and then I'll put these back in my box. This is the box that I've got uh, where I will. Well, I, I used to take all my crystals and as I critted down, used to colour match them um, so that I've got all the different shades of all the different colour. But as I say, now they just go into bags with like pink, blue, green. Um, and I just keep them all, you know, as I kit down, just keep them all separate, separate little bags. They probably all will be donated, those. Uh, and I'll probably just keep my box, really. Right, so I've not got that exact colour. I've been through all my blues in my box and I've not got that exact colour. So we'll see whether we've got it in amongst these. I'm trying to come to this corner because this is a bit better lighting. That's the nearest that I've got, which really isn't that near at all. Albeit these are very dusty uh, and not very clean looking. So because the packets are a little bit um, dusty, I'll, I'll stay, I stay polite, I'll say dusty. Uh, then that's probably the nearest, but we'll just have a quick look through these. See, they, you just look and you just think, oh my goodness, they're just nowhere near the colour. 
No, that's all dark blues. No. Oh, that's a. Oh, now then, that's a similar blue. So we'll keep. Oh, that looks pretty spot on. So I'll keep that one out because we would need more than that. Oh, and that might be the same one as well. So let's see where we end up with these then. They're like the bluey greens. What's that? Oh, that's like a midnight blue. That's nearly black. That is a very dark blue. Okay, no, not those. They're like a denim blue. No, they're aqua. Oops, thundering again. No, they're darker. Where are they? No, oh, I don't know. I'll keep that one out as well. So it's worth keeping them, as I say, but it's just storing them. Oh, why are they in there? Oh, they're a very pale blue, bluey grey colour. Not nearly silver, but not silver. And there's that one there. I think that actually might be silver, so I'll double check. Um, no, they're too light. That's another similar one. That's a green one that wants to go in with the greens. Yeah, you see, sometimes I just get, uh, well, to a point where I just think, oh, just put them all in there. <laughs> Well, I must have done with that green anyway. No, it's probably the pack will have been stuck to another pack when I've picked them all up. So, oh, I think we've got a rainbow. Oh, I like rainbows. Particularly if they're made of diamond paintings and crystals. <laughs> so what colours? Oh, that was the very dark blue, wasn't it? So we've decided we've actually got a better match to that one. So let's see. That's that one. And that's that one. I want to make sure I've got enough of it because otherwise what's the point in changing them out and then finding you've run out and you've not got the right colour. Um, yeah, so I think all those are the same. That one I'm going to put back in my box of my blues. Yeah, I think they're all the same and that... It's just a little bit lighter. So I'm going to keep all those into a packet. So these are number three. I don't actually need that many of them. So let me double check as I go along. Yep, that's definitely the same as that. It's quite a finished packet. Um, does it tell me how many I need? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just telling me numbers on there. Um, not an inventory sheet. You very rarely get an inventory sheet or anything as to how many gems are used um, on specials. No craft buddy do on theirs, but... Uh, oops, come on, we might need that extra one. Get out. All right. And, yep, that one's got an extra different one in there as well. I might just put all these in here anyway, and then when I kick down, I've got them all in the same place. So. We've got brilliant sunshine coming over now, so one half of the sky is brilliant sunshine on the other half. It is very, very thundery and cloudy. Still got rumbles going on in the background. Yeah, Hubby and I seem to have had uh, a few places where we've been where there's been a lot of thunder and lightning going on. Uh, I remember being on an aeroplane once and there was thunder and lightning. That was a bit unusual. Uh, I can't say I was particularly scared, but it was certainly uh, it got the heart pumping a little bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they are the same. So, yeah, watching it out of the plane window was quite good because you get a different perspective of a storm when you're sort of above the clouds. Um, and then we've been, when we went to, where did we go? We went to Mallorca, in, uh, just off the Spanish coast. And we were sat sort of on a beachfront, uh, in a beachfront cafe, having a jug of sangria, as you do. And uh, yeah, it was started thundering and we sort of heard, but we saw all the, um, we saw all the lightning in the background as we were sat there. That was quite fun. I'll try and colour match those later on. I won't do it now. Otherwise I'll be sat here for ages. Right, that green one wants to go in with the green. So that's those finished with now. So let's put these away back on the shelf. I'm starting to get places where everything goes now. 
Mm. So as I've done something, if I remember, I put it away in the right place. And when you've got a memory like mine, it pays to have a place for things. So when you're looking for something, you aren't having to look through everything because you've forgotten where you've put it. <laughs> well, that's what I try anyway. Right, so let's see. Uh, that's two good bags. I will keep those. Don't want to get rid of good bags. Right, we don't need number nine. Uh, those are those to put over there. So the next one is four, five. Let's have a look at four and five. They're in gold. So that's four and that's five. That's eight. Is this? I've got six in here. Six and seven. All right. Okay. So I want my special drills. Let me just pop these away. These are all the just colour matched drills. So this could actually be a time when I use some of my special shaped drills. So all of the kits I've done, well, nearly all of the kits I've done, um, any of the special shapes, which are bigger than your standard crystals, um, and stars and everything like that I've put into this box they're all in sort of colour order so I've got black, gold, silver, blue, green, purple, pink, white, red, yellow and orange um, and they're all in here in either large rounds which are anything larger than your standard crystals uh, marquees which are your like um, diamond shaped ones teardrops which are ones with like little bit at the top and a little fat bottom uh, and then miscellaneous which are stars and hearts and flowers and things like that so they're all in here so it should make it that little bit easier to look for them so we are looking for large rounds faceted and marquees that are quite long i don't know whether i've got any of those Oof, fingers crossed let's see what we've got so we're looking in gold for starters and we're looking in a large round. Now, if I've not got them, I may then have to look and see if I've got something similar that will match in with the other colours um, so that the canvas still looks OK. So I'll bring these colours over here because these are the ones we're going to be putting on the canvas uh, and we don't want it to look silly, as it were. So we're looking for this size for starters so we'll get rid of anything that's not that size no they're too small i mean we've got the those are the right size those are the right size oh those are the right size but they're very very pale okay they're they're the right color but they're too big so i'll keep that out because that's the color we're looking for these are all small we've got those Okay, they're small, they're too big. Are they the same as those? Oh, I think they're the same as those. We've got the same there. They're too big. Oh dear, and they're too small and they're too... So we've got the right ones, but the too big. No, they're different to those. Oh. So let's just go through and see if we've got any more that's that small size no they're sort of the medium size aren't they these are all small or huge oh there's two different sizes in that packet that's not good and they're the big ones so oh dear I really, well, I'm not going to open that packet. It's as simple as that. If I don't have the drills to do it, then I won't be opening the packets. I won't be doing it. It's, yeah. So we've got those, that colour. I've got a different coloured one in there. Look, they're all more of a, oh, and there's different sizes in there as well. That's not good. So they're a paler yellowy colour. I've got enough of those. I haven't got enough of those and I've got enough of those. There's no point in looking at the big ones even though I have kept them out and I don't think I've got enough in there anyway. So let's look at those two for now. Okay, so put the large rounds away and then let's have a look in the gold marquees and we'll see if we've got any that match. 
because if we've got that colour, I might do it in that colour. So let's see. And if all else fails, it will will have to be that. But I don't even know whether I've got any in that size. I've got the smaller ones. And they're like real thin. They're real thin. Ah, do you know you call these special drills thinking, oh yeah, I'll have the ones I need to do my project. I just haven't. So I wonder what other colours I've got those in. Mm. Okay, so what's the other colours that I need? Let's have a look. So, we're thinking about those. Number five, we haven't got any. Let's have a look in the white. So we're white over here in this corner. Again, we're looking at rounds in white. Okay, and I'm wanting the little pearls. So, and I'm wanting a lot. They look like they're a... Oh, they're those. So that's fine. So we've got plenty of those. Okay, yeah, they're definitely those. So that's good. So what have we got in marquees then, in white? I don't think we've really got, no, we've got teardrops, but we've only got the one white marquee, so we can't match it up with whites. So did we say that that one was number six? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. So we can put these in here. I'll leave a couple in the packet. I won't empty them all out. So, yeah, I think that's probably enough. But I know I can come back and get some more if I need them. So that's that one. So we're one, two, three, possibly four, um, five, six. Okay, so that's those. Right, so red. Let's have a look in the... They are red, aren't they? Yeah, red, tiny marquees. I think I've only got tiny, um, tiny teardrops. Tiny tears. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got those. There's still, um, we've got those, but there's not a lot of them. Ooh, and we've got those. None of the packets really have got enough that would make up that amount. Mm. Okay, so we've got those. I suppose I could possibly wash those because they are few away, aren't they? And they do look reasonably okay, but we'll have to see. Okay. So, yeah, and I don't really want to mix them. Um, we've got those, there's a lot of those, but they're too big. I say there's a lot of those, but still I don't think there's as many as we need. Right, and then we're looking at blue teardrops. So let's go into blue. And the teardrops are behind the marquees. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Right. So we're looking for an iridescent coated, sort of medium sized ones. Got all the teeny tiny ones we've got. No, you see they're smaller. No, are they the same as those? No, they're a different colour. Oh, look at those, I love those. I'd love a nail varnish that colour. That's fabulous. Um, no, you see, so I keep all these crystals and I've got nothing anywhere near that colour or that size. Mmm, that's not good. And they need to be teardrops because they're all along the edges of the wings. Okay, so let's see if we've got blue marquees then. Let's just see if we can swap any out. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so these are all the blue marquees see if we've got any that's see we've got that color that's very similar to that color but there's not a huge amount of them and see that's the color that we've got the most of but that's not 
Yeah, and that's not really, it needs to be more. Oh, I don't know though, because that's nowhere near that colour, is it? That's uh, quite a different colour to that one. It is similar to that, so we've got those. Oh, do you know? <laughs> Have you ever tried doing this set of faffing about with things? Number seven. So number seven's on the edge of the... See, there's that one. That would be quite pretty to go with the other colours, wouldn't it? And then you've got like your... Albeit again, there's probably not enough there. Ooh. Um, are they the same ones? Oh no, they're a different size. And then we've got the dark blue in that one. No, the dark blue is not going to go. Hmm, okay. So I'll just keep those out for now. Well, this is certainly more uh, involved than I was expecting it to be, I have to say. Right, so let's look in teardrops then and see if we've got any red teardrops. Just thinking we could swap the colours out if we've got them. Um, you know, I've got lots of the teeny tiny ones, goodness me. We've got those, but I don't think they would really go. Albeit they're similar to the pink. Similar, oh, you can't see that one, can you? They're similar to that pink. Hmm, but then the backing's all blue, so just seeing what uh, I've got in the iridescent coated ones. Oh, and I've got those as well. The fire red and the blue with the pink. They might be nice. They might go okay. Hmm, oh, I say this is uh, a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. I could always, as I say, just take those out and wash them, I suppose. Just have to uh, have a look, but I certainly haven't got any like that. So, let me just put the reds back there. I need to be looking for large marquees then, and I do only need three. Do I only need three? Oh, I only need one. Oh. There's just one in the middle. Now then, that uh, puts a different perspective on it. How many have I got there? Oh no, there's quite a few of those eights, isn't there? And there's a lot of the sevens there and there. And one there. Yeah, and then they're dotted about. Hmm. Okay, let me put these away. In the right. Something's just dropped on the floor and I'm not quite sure what it was. <laughs> right, let's pop those away. So I'm looking for one large marquee to go in the middle of this butterfly. So let's look. Oh. Let's look at blue. Okay. Marquee. No, I've not got any big enough in the blue. Okay. And let's look at in. Oh, did we look in gold? We looked in gold. I'll look in silver. You never know. Um. Oh, I didn't look in silver for the others either, did I? So let's have a look. Silver. Now I've got a lot of those marquees in silver. So rather than red, I could put sort of the iridescent coated silver on it. Albeit it maybe needs the red just to stand out a bit more. I'll keep those out a second. Oh, now then I could use that one as the middle one. That's like got a greeny blue tinge to it there in the silver. Okay, so that's the right size. Got those as well. Are they the same one? I know they're slightly smaller, they're slightly larger. So are they the same one? Oh, 
You know, they're a slightly different size as well. Bizarre. Okay. So let me have a look in the teardrops in the silvers and see what we've got, because we could possibly use those. It'd just end up then being blue and silver with a little bit of pink. I wonder if it'd flatten it too much, not having the red. And then I could maybe use the plain gold. Although we've got a lot of silver. But it might be better if I'm going to use those sort of colours. Rather than that, just have the plain gold. Hmm. So we want teardrops in that size. Now that's too small. Yeah, we've got them in that size. Okay. So oh, look at all those large ones. That's what's left over from my gorgeous tree. My blossom tree. Don't do in that picture. Okay. Right, so silver, we've looked through gold. Let's have a look. Pink. So let's have a look in pink. Uh, marquees just wondering which colours oh now then look oh, hot pink but just one hot pink in the middle and if I did that hot pink then I would definitely have to go with that colour for those, and if I did that colour for those, and then the gold for those. Let's have a look. So that would be our colour palette. Yeah, do you know, I think that will work. I think that will look okay, doing it that way around. I know the background is blue, but we've got the pink next to it. So I think that will be okay. I think these fire red ones will take on more of a pinky hue if I do it that way. So that's the colours I'm going to go with. Let me know in the comments what colours would you have gone with? Would you have changed the colours out as drastically as I have? Well, not drastically, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> gone with different colours right so we have number one we have number two we have number three number four is going to be these so where's number four bag gone got number five where's number four gone come in number four your time is up Oh, it's there, look. <laughs> so I can put those back in the gold large rounds. Um, I'm sure there'll be more than enough there. Okay, so I'll leave a few in the bag. And as I say, I know where to come if I need some. Put a couple more in. Ooh, so the bold is sad. Nobody wants to be left behind. Don't leave me, don't leave me. Right, oh look, make a complete nutter mess, Liz. Just throw them all over the table. Yes, typical me. Right. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. So, I'll just put these just so that I know where to put them back um, in there. Okay, so that's large gold. Have I got any more golds to put away? No, I haven't. Um, yeah, they were too big. That silver wants to go away because we're not using that one. Albeit when I come to it, if I decide that the pink's too much, I might change it out. So you never know. Um, and that pink and that pink need to go away because that's going to be that one. So pink, pink, pink marquees. Oh, well, it's been a bit of fun doing this. I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at this with me. I'll just put a couple in number five because... We only actually need one, but I'll put two in there so that it doesn't get lonely. <laughs> oh, so a few of them have decided to go. Look, just stop it. I'll just hang on to those two. 
I've got the smallest little tray that I could find, I think. Right, so that's my keys. Okay, so that's number five. We don't want those and we don't want those. So that's red to go back. Okay, so we'll put that back in red marquees and blue marquees. And we've got silver teardrops there. Yeah, it would be too much having two silvers. So I think they will look okay like that. So silver teardrops, put those in there. So we've got number six done already. Number seven, we want some of these. Quite a few, I think that should be enough, but I know where to come if I need some more. So that's that one. So that's uh, Marquis in silver. Oh no, that's black, so I'm putting them away in the wrong one. Okay, and then we're doing fire red instead of the blue. So we want number eight. And again, I'll just need leave, leave a couple in here. And we'll see what we look like at the end. So they're reds and they're teardrops. Right. I think this is going to look okay. I think we've got a reasonable colour palette and it saved me having to um, use any of these drills because I really didn't particularly want to touch any of them. Um, I know some people will think it's a waste, but yee! <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's that little job done i'm getting all my little jobs done at the moment because i'm tidying my craft room out and i keep coming across little piles of things thinking that needs sorting and that needs sorting so yeah that's what i'm doing at the moment uh, i just want a little bag to put those in now let's grab a little bag one two three oops Four, five, six, seven, eight. I might actually do this one next just to see what it does look like and see if I do decide to change any of the colours uh, and then I'll let you know if I do it uh, any different to how it looks now. I think that'll work out quite well. Okay, so that's that one. Just one little escape and now I can just get rid of all those. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this different little video, trying to sort out colours and see how we look. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, if thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button, oops, down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.